Alrighty, cherubs, today we're going to be making a stamp. So I need some clay, I need a felt tip marker, a wooden knife, a needle tool, some scissors, and my template, and a rolling pin. If the template hasn't been cut out for you already, you want to go ahead and cut that out. Then we're going to take the felt tip marker and trace around the outside. This shouldn't be a Sharpie, this should just be a real cheap felt tip marker. I'm going to set that all aside and flatten out a piece of clay. Now I'm just going to use my hands right now to flatten it out and I'm going to use the rolling pin to get it a little bit thinner. It shouldn't be too thin. The problem with going too thin is that we're going to be carving into this and that's going to, that's going to cause some troubles. So we want to just go about a quarter of an inch thin. Then we'll take the template, put it upside down, use a wooden rib or a credit card, and rub it onto the clay. And you can see that it transfers. We can get rid of that paper. And now I'm just going to cut out, using the needle tool, that circle. You can see the edges are a little rough, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some water, and I'm going to smooth out the sides and the edges. Using the needle tool to cut clay, it often winds up with rough edges, and so we're going to be using water to mitigate that. Now I'm going to use my needle tool to draw in, scratch in, the design that I want. In this case, I'm just going to be doing a real simple design, and it's just going to be a crescent moon. Pretty easy. But you can see that the lines are not very deep, and they're really rough. So I'm going to use a sharp wood knife to widen those scratches those indentations in the clay, and to clean them up, because I want to get rid of all those little burrs. Those are going to cause the stamp not to work great. So I want to get rid of all of that, and again, open up those, those scratches, those lines, so that they accept more clay into it, so our print will become more bold, more readable. So I'm using the back end of the wood knife to smooth away the extra burrs that are there. And you can fuss with this for a while. Again, the point is to make it really, really clean. If it's not clean, then it's not going to work like you're hoping it's going to work. And the, the scratches, the lines that we're, we're drawing in should be a decent width. Nothing too thin, otherwise it's not going to work. All about like that. Now what I want to do is take a little bit of extra clay and I want to make a handle. So I'm just going to pinch it out here and form it roughly into a rectangular prism. Use my comb, scratch up the back and the attachment. Now I'm going to use some slip. And some good pressure to attach the handle to the stamp. Use my wood knife to stitch it all together. And there we have our finished stamp.